Hello, this is Tessine Aslam, Chief Executive of Abacus Wills and Trust UK and Middle East. I hope you found the last episode interesting where I answered several emails uh, which our viewers had sent in and asked questions based on the information that I'd given in the previous few episodes. There's a question which I addressed in my last episode where a lady called Aisha had asked that um, she has a property worth 1.2 million and to save inheritance tax after both she and her husband passed away she asked whether if she gifted it to her son and uh, would that make it tax free and the son doesn't live with her many many families in the UK especially in London are in the same situation because the average assets of most families now is about a million and so how do we save this so if it's a family home obviously it would go into the living trust and because the inheritance tax exemption limit of the parents is only 650,000 1.2 million will attract 40% inheritance tax on whatever is above 650,000 there are two options basically one option is for the uh, parents, Aisha and her husband, to size down in their property. Because when we all get old, then a house worth 1.2 million will not probably be very manageable for a couple who are elderly. They may not be able to climb the stairs anymore. They may find it difficult to maintain and the costs attached to it and so on. And usually what happens is that in older age people do tend to size down when all the children have grown up and flown the nest. They should do that soon because if they sell this, say for example this property is 1.2 million and they sell this property and they buy a property which is within the 650,000 pounds bracket, it should be four five hundred thousand to allow room for growth during their lifetime as well so the rest of the balance which would be about five hundred and fifty thousand they should really put it into pilot trusts and then after seven years that will become inheritance tax free the other option is that they gift a share to the son. So if the house is worth 1.2 million, the exemption limit is 650,000. I suggest that the parents retain a much smaller share, 25% of the property or even 20% of the property. The rest of the property they gift to their son but that attracts another complication. First of all, it takes seven years for that gift to become inheritance tax free. And if the son is not living with them in the house, then they would need to pay a market value rent for that share of the property. And they would have to pay 75% of that to the son and show in their tax returns and the son would need to show that in his tax returns and pay tax on that amount because that would become his income as long as the tax situation is covered properly that will work there are some harsh choices that you will have to make and harsh decisions that you will have to make and maybe they may be life-changing decisions but if you want to save inheritance tax if you want to make sure that all of your hard-earned money goes to your beneficiaries then you will need to do something that's the bottom line Aisha
another um, question, which was a very interesting question. Same-sex couple, they have a civil marriage. Each of them have children from previous marriages. They have assets which they bought together to buy a home together. How do we do their planning? Well, in exactly the same way as a, a married couple. So if they were in this scenario and they bought a house together which is in joint names, when one person passes away it goes to the surviving spouse, surviving partner in this situation, when they pass away then it goes to whoever this person wants it to go to, if it's in joint names. If the surviving partner remarried, their present wills would become null and void. If they went to a care home, social services can take the assets. If they became bankrupt, trustee in bankruptcies can take it. So exactly the same issues apply as if a heterosexual marriage where two people come together, they have children from previous marriages and they have assets together. So how do we do the planning for them? Because they're pro they only own one property which is well within the inheritance tax exemption limit because if you remember that each, each of them still have the same nil rate bands. 325,000. The golden rule is to remember that whether you're just civil partners or your uh, heterosexual husband and wife legally married, the rules are still the same. Another important issue is that when people just live together, then what happens? Even though they own properties together or assets together, and they're not legally married, the surviving partner will not automatically inherit that estate. Probate will still need to be done on the first person's death. I hope you enjoyed the program today. I hope it was informative. The purpose of my programs is to raise awareness worldwide about why it's important to sort your affairs out because the issues I talk about are universal. They're not just um, for UK only, they're universal issues. Wherever there are human beings and they own assets, these issues will affect you. So it's goodbye from me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my videos. And uh, my email address is showing on the screen. Please email me if you have any questions. And I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.